He's been hurt! Oh no! Watch out! What's on the brakes? Wait! It's more! Oh! He lost the GPW Heavyweight Championship because of this man. And you notice something, Steve? He's not dressed to wrestle tonight. He's dressed to fight. This match, Hardcore and Olds barred GPW Heavyweight title match must be a winner. After a series of attacks with a solid steel chair, Bo Tatum was declared injured. And a lot of people are under the belief that he was done with wrestling, that he was never gonna come back again, that he was hurt so badly oh. that there was no way that he would ever wrestle again. And now, Bo Tatum has his opportunity that he has been waiting for for an entire year. It was literally November 3rd last year, Swink. That metalhead was the one man that nearly ended Bo Tatum's career and 100% medically cleared, that's debatable. Because we know for a fact that Bo Tatum has some ailments. Draw breaker, down goes metalhead to the outside. Bo Tatum has had a year of rehab, a lot of training and rebuilding, chasing after the man that nearly ended his career, trying to get back the title that he had and that he reigned with several times throughout 2017 and 2018. A powerhouse in-ring style, but is he truly ready for Metalhead considering that he is also an ace when using these weapons? Solid steel rods, solid steel chains, solid steel chairs. We've seen Metalhead use it all before. That pipe being used by Metalhead. If I'm not mistaken, that's the same height that he can you, used. Swing, can you imagine the mindset of Metalhead knowing now that his boss has just lost control of GPW? Now, there is no turning back. If he wants to unleash brutality, what's to stop him? You have Lou Tafano as the new standard official. You know he's not going to rule in favor of Bo Tatum in this one. With the residual effect of what Aaron has done, is still in play. Even though Aaron is out of control, that does not mean that Metalhead is totally out of the woods or can't prove that he is indeed the top dog in GPW going forward. Well, there's no one to control Metalhead now. With Steve Aaron out of the picture, there's nothing to stop Metalhead. For Voltatum, the title meant everything. And I think we're seeing that Metalhead has found a sweet spot, a weak spot, and he's trying to end Voltatum's career yet again. Trying to choke the life out of him with that steel chain now wrapped around his throat. And the heart of a champion is being determined here because in the face of fear, can Bo Tatum handle the pressure? Is he 100% ready for this fight? Mitch Blake had Bo Tatum as his last resort. He didn't want to do this. But Bo Tatum kept pleading that he was ready for the fight. He wanted to take the chance. He was authorized to do the damage. And now he's in there. Wonder being brought into play But is this a mistake? Is this a mistake for Tatum? Because his career, his livelihood in wrestling, could be terminated for good forever. And if he's crippled, man, that could mess him up for the rest of his life. Metalhead doesn't care. He doesn't care. He'll use a steel chair and repeatedly attack Bo Tatum until he can't move ever again. Oh, back first, right in the chair. His spine might have been severed right there. He's trying to break the back of Bo Tatum and he may have done just that with that shot with a steel chair in the corner. Metalhead said it best. He's destroyed everyone in his path. The most evil individual in GPW. The most successful as well. He has blasted people. He is injured. And now he has a chair in his hands as a weapon. And he can take apart Bo Tatum, limb from limb, as often as he wants. He can throw him into any of the corners of the ring. And a solid steel chair will await the challenger in this no holds barred hardcore clash. We're going to see a very, very ugly 
seen right here. Paul Tatum can't even stand up on his own power. Metalhead has to drag him to his feet. Oh, but Metalhead takes the steal. How did he do that? He reversed the champion into the chair. Oh, Check this out. Take the place. But Paul Tatum might have done damage to his own back after that one. One of the most dangerous men on the entire planet of the Earth today is Metalhead. And he's not afraid to tell people that. He will get in your face, he will brawl, and he will show his deceptive strength and his ability to take pain and dominate the scene. Well, there's a low blow for Metalhead avoiding a shot. And that's legal. That is totally legal in this. No disqualification, anything goes. We see that right now with a steel pipe. He will again. assault you, and, again. and he made a deal and with the devil. Into the back. Swing, I think that Metalhead has the goal light to do whatever he wants to Bo Tatum. He can do this as long as he wants. He can do this all night until Bo Tatum is declared and rendered useless, and we have to stop the match and take Bo Tatum out of here in an ambulance. That's what Metalhead wants. Metalhead wants Bo Tatum's head on a mantelpiece. Well, he might he wants to, to tell all the stories about how he destroyed Bo Tatum once he and for all. to take his head off right here. Oh. Metalhead hurt himself. He was undercut right there. Desperation move by Bo. Oh. Uh, Tatum doing anything he can. Bo Tatum, the one of the last resorts for Jake. Big drop kick. You gotta take out this miserable soul once and for all. Watch out. Up and over goes Bo, but he goes. Great agility. Oh. oh, he didn't see that coming. Chair to the skull. Oh, Metalhead. This guy is a that, champion for a reason. Oh, Tatum is in such a dangerous position. His head, neck, and back have been tortured enough. He should even be wrestling tonight, in my honest opinion. He's had it. He's been hurt. Oh, no! Superplex shakes the ring. That might be it. Champions down. Both, Challengers down. Both men down, but Metalhead back to his feet. Metalhead says this is it. The end of Bo Tatum is upon us. If what we saw happen to Mitch Blake was any sign earlier, this could get very graphic as well. Metalhead with tunnel vision, but for the everlasting moment, the mere sounds of the crowd agitate him even further. Spy bus! How did Tatum do that? Tatum's still alive! But well, that took a lot out of Tatum, too. GPW Heavyweight Championship is on the line in this one. A man has waited a full year to get his hands on the champion. Metalhead has been cheated out of title opportunities over and over again. When he finally had a shot at Marche Rocket, yep, outside interference was involved with Samuel, but Metalhead outsmarted Marche Rocket. The new standard walked away with championship gold, and now Metalhead is trying to defend his prize in this featured attraction. Toe to toe, challenger against champion, in what has been brewing for well over a calendar year. Metalhead, the stronger of the two at this juncture. And that might not change. Counter! Metalhead pushed off, bicycle kick. The impact sent Metalhead crashing backwards. To final here to try to make a quick count right there. Did you see how fast that hand went up and down, Swink? Uh, questionable count indeed there for two down. Man. Seemed a little bit quick. Swink, that was Blake. To finals here at a quick count. Tatum down so Metalhead can parade around as the champion from now on. Metalhead is so dangerous, he does not need Steve Eric around to do the damage. He can do this on his own. Wait a minute, he's reaching under the ring for some kind of weapon. What's he got now? Oh no, it's a door. Where the heck did he get a door? He might have ripped it off of one of the houses and posed it somewhere. We've seen this guy stalk around. You never know where he got it from. You think Sweet T had anything to do with that? He likes to steal stuff with his hands. Somehow I don't think Steve, Sweet T is going around stealing doors. Maybe door knobs, but not quite doors. Who the heck punched a hole in that door? 
That might have been Somebody how, had a fit. Might have been how Metalhead got that door. Well, somebody's going to get an entry through that door, and it might be the champion. Watch out. What's on the brakes? Wait. Explorer. Oh, oh, my goodness. The door shattered. What if when splinters all over town? What the heck is this about? Here's Big T. Big T. It's nothing to do with this. Out here. Spinebuster to Big T, Brothers T, the new standard with very, very limited options here. How many more of them are there to try to interfere and interrupt this match? The distraction was enough. Metalhead spun down Tatum right on the back of his head. His head snapped. Quick count. Metalhead's retained. What the heck was that? doing here he won the speed pass earlier is he gonna use that speed pass to earn a title shot right here right now they made there was a lot of communication between these two leading up to this event ah there you go cypher, cypher has he defected to the new standard cypher. no 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 he says he wants the title Joe slam metalhead's been crushed did this even start? Cypher! 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 The Sideshow! Cypher has won the JPW Heavyweight title! We have a celebration on our hands, but did that match even start? I never heard a bell, but apparently there was a three count. And another bell. The crowd is confused! Cypher! New Standard are losing their titles left and right tonight. The control is gone, and Tafano, now yeah, Tafano needs, needs to eat some chops from the new champion. He deserves it. He screwed the Bruce Brothers out of the tag titles. He needs to be reprimanded. He needs to be abused. Well, Tatum did not get his revenge on Metalhead the way he would have hoped, but the Sideshow were able to outsmart the New Standard's remainders and all of the pieces of the puzzle of the New Standard. All the control, all the goal, all the power. It's slipping away one match at a time. I sense GPW might have a rebirth in the making. Now with this guy around, 